I have no, no difficulty of, of uh, hating most and probably all of the regimes I know uh, on, on our continents uh, of Asia and Africa. But that does not prevent what has happened with problems in Nepal, uh, which had roots in, 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 uh, in, in India and is, uh, is, has not been crushed, has not been defeated, and is on the uh, on, 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 is going the uh, Axelite. Uh, the may surprise you, but I have connections there. They read me in Nepal. Oh, this oh, will be oh, the greatest. Oh. I totally support them. But just to conclude, uh, I maybe very our shareholders. I don't have this. I think you are also biased a little bit too much towards this. You know, big bad wolf United States. It is, but there are new big bad wolves. Okay, I have an important. I have an important remark. Let's be democratic now for these people here who paid to come here yes, who are listening. You know, so but before that, I have the second question. Did I pose only one question at the beginning? Yeah. So I think in Marxist terms, I exploited you, and in, in Shishikian terms, I was the vanishing mediator. I'm very glad I joined your five years of Okay. Maybe I would like to come to Egypt, so maybe it would take more centuries. Uh, it is even, it is even uh, now renting its services capacity to torture people and so on to many, many governments. Uh, so I think we have a mic there, and so uh, we have still like uh, 20 minutes uh, for questions, please, and afterwards Michal Rikon will have a lecture. Okay, here we have the first question. And then uh, we have the second question, and hope it won't be in Italian, please, because no one is Italian here. <laughs> here. And please, short questions and short answers, because we don't have so much time. Uh, my question is, uh, how could we talk more and more here about the world which is overloaded with negative, uh, not only meaning, but history. It is um, communism, which is used in uh, my life, uh, which made me sometimes unhappy, but sometimes very happy. The, word, the words are coming true. The ideas are not without power have power. Could you please use another or find another word for such, um, let's say, alternative we uh, really have in front of us? Not in front, but we are, we is have this. this a question for someone specific? Or? This is a specific question for... Samir Amin? Yes. Yeah, well, because I, I because can, you, you were making no, me no, I, happy. I can, I I can fully happy. understand you. You are people who are were living in a regime which called itself communist. No. Uh, both of uh, the three of you, you, madame, and the two comrades here, I can understand that the word communism was associated with such things that uh, it's not easy to, uh, to use. If you want, for internal reasons, to use some other word in Croatia, I would not mind. But provided that you have the same meaning, that is the emancipation of human beings, yes. the emancipation of peoples, and, the, and another relation to nature. If you uh, if you give another name to that, well, you will have invented a, a good word. I do not find another word than communism because uh, it's not even Marx who created it because it was there before, uh, from the beginning of uh, um, when, when, when capitalism showed its reality from the very beginning. So why not? Another question from the please, please, uh, student, are people who student movement, because okay, it's, they it's are here now very... Uh, <laughs> no, but, uh, what I'm saying is that uh, I wasn't precisely I like the word communism because, you know, it, precisely because it has such a connotation, it signals that you really mean something. I'm, uh, 
I'm sorry, but in today's capitalist ideology, which is largely humanitarian, if you say solidarism, if you say whatever, immediately Bill Gates will say, yes, I fully support it, and so on. <laughs> Second thing, the problem, I want to establish the link with that big tradition, I am proud of it, tradition from Spartacus to Thomas Winkler, all these great ideas of radical egalitarian rebellions. I think that spirit has to be it has to be kept alive. And the last thing, the problem today, all the problems we enumerated, they are the problems of commons. How to deal with our communal space of trading nature, commun communal intellectual property. The problem is totally a communist one in this sense. And, and we don't have any way out. You know, communism it wasn't, uh, it wasn't, it wasn't invented in some degenerated heads. It, grew out, out of the so-called contradictions of capitalism. So if you want to get rid of communism, get rid of the communism. But, you know, you think, you believe that, Samir believes that, I believe that about the concept of communism. Yeah. But the masses do not, because their experience is that communism is not a system of solidarity among people. It's not a system in which people produce for each other's needs. Solidarity, communism for most people in the world is a state which stands over and above working people and oppresses them. And we have to understand that reality. Yeah. My God, I wrote books against that kind of communism. But I nonetheless think that we shouldn't be too pessimists here, you know, in the sense of, he, the question of people, you know, people change. Oh, well, you need a mic for the translators. Sorry, yes. <laughs> no, 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 okay. Mikhail, did you have uh, an answer to this also? I saw you. This is how I treat friends. Friends are people whom you can aggressively. Uh, it's okay, we have a chance for, for, for another question. It's moving there. But it's already there. <laughs> it, it will come here. Also. Sorry, so it's very, very brief. That's my promise to do the best. There's one reason why the word communism should be kept because it is threatening. Because it is threatening. Because it is dangerous. Because it is dangerous. It has to be shown that it's not only a generous idea, but it is an intervention in reality. And it should raise hope and it should raise fear. Well, my comment would be that, um, well, if we see communism that way, uh, of course, well, um, to my mind, communist is a very interest, interesting uh, rhetorical practice now. And even, even the most threatened in the world now is terrorism, of course. Uh, when, when one says terrorism, this, this mean, they mean the guys who really mean it. They, they really want to destroy something, to, well, to make some kind of religion. And it does not apply to communism anymore. Communism is a communism. Is the Two thousand people died, maybe three thousand. One, 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 one good state terror in India and China the kill small. I mean, this world is a is a denominator of danger. It does not mean that terrorists kill millions. It, it means that they made themselves, they made people be afraid. Be afraid. No, media of the free world. Of course. That, that's but it's like, let me just say that I don't hesitate to think of myself and call myself a communist. But. I think we have to recognize that we live in a world in which people have a particular identification with the word communism. And I think that rather than you know, emphasizing that communism, we should use that word because it's threatening, who is it threatening? I think we want to talk about a vision which is an alternative. A vision which is an alternative that appeals to people. And I think for that reason, it's not a bad idea to go back to the original conceptions of Marx in 1844 where he identified socialism and humanism and you know, had a, 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 a true social life as the goal. That that is, and, and we happen to be living in a century now in which a phenomenon has emerged which is called socialism for the 21st century which distinguishes itself from the experiences of the 20th century 